this is a different video again original content yay but uh, anyways uh, I made a poem or song whatever you call it called fear of rejection uh, basically it's a poem and I wrote it and it's about things that I was thinking about all the time and I just wanted to get out of my chest and I didn't just want to vent it vent on the video and I just wanted to say these things in an artistic way so I've made a poem with some instrumentals that I took from online and now this video is like a genius video but like cheap budget and it's me doing it and I just want to explain the meanings of the lyrics of fear of rejection so don't expect some crazy editing like genius it's me that is doing this so enjoy <laughs> Fear of Rejection is a poem, well I already said it, that I wrote but uh, those are things that I just wanted to get out of my chest. Uh, I've lived with this a lot but the majority of this poem is about, fa not family, sorry, friends uh, that have rejected me and it's just I wanted to say what I how I was feeling and what was going on in my head. Rejection. Why am I afraid of rejection? Because it happened to me on many occasions by friends and family. It made me feel like a crybaby. So this is me like saying why I just telling myself or asking myself why Am I scared of getting rejection, rejected? Uh, and I'm just saying that it happened to me a lot by friends and family. Like I said, most of this is about the friends that I had. And it made me feel like a crybaby. Well, before I started high school, I got, uh, like, you make birthday parties for your birthday. It's childish, I know, but that's what it is, crybaby. Uh, not a lot of people came to some of my birthdays. There were some birthdays that I did were, that were really awesome. And I, had great me I have great memories of, but there were ones that, like, almost nobody showed up. And I cried. And also... Uh, elections at middle school that I lost that I felt rejected and uh, I thought people didn't vote for me because I was ugly and that was a rejection that I remember I fucking cried like intense crying it was I was really like a crybaby back then my friends that pretended to forget about me made excuses trying to not hurt me. This is me like talking about the people that lied to me. They're like, oh, we didn't think about you because we were so in a rush. And they come up with a lot of excuses, which I just don't buy. Like, I don't buy this shit. It happened to me so many times. I'm sure some of you relate to what I'm saying. Like, you got rejected and uh, oh, many times and left out that all of the excuses they tell you of why they didn't invite you or whatsoever you just don't believe this shit like it happened to you like hundreds of times like you know uh, no matter what you think it's BS some of them are no longer friends with me some of them have backstabbed me some of them used me to get something from me I realized not a long time ago uh, some of my friends, uh, that's how I feel. Uh, like, I don't know if they like me or not. Uh, some of them are no longer friends with me. That is true. I remember, uh, if you didn't watch, I made a 46 minute, 46 minute, 46 minute video in French talking about what happened in 2016 and I was basically almost the entire time a rose video of an old friend and uh, it just started all of this, it started a lot of drama 
and it's just me like getting things off my chest but it's over it's done with it uh, I don't have any hatred towards this person anymore I was just in the moment back then frustrated and just wanted to get everything out of me and tell in front of a camera how I was feeling and uh, no longer friends with me some of them I just literally don't talk to them anymore uh, backstabbed me um, also what generated this I've talked uh, this is something I learned to not do don't talk about people behind their backs again it's with the whole 46 minute video uh, I talked some shit behind the person's back to someone who I thought was a friend he still I just don't know and he basically just backstabbed me without even realizing it and told everyone what I said and it just exploded and also used me to get something from me that I, I, I thought about it recently um, some people like invited me like during times that I'm not available uh, it was the end of the semester a lot of studying and exams I was busy and they were like oh we're all at the end of the semester we all have finals weeks just come it's gonna be a good time relax uh, blah 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 and I went there and when semester finished no more contacts or whatsoever like this person wanted me to come to an event that they were part of to like win something and after the event was over never heard of that person I don't have any news not contacting me anymore like it's just they disappeared when this competition ended and it's just really weird and it's like he didn't just do this with me with a lot of people but why only invite me to something when you want to gain something out of it Every time I wanted to do something, they were ignoring, ghosting, laughing, pointing, mocking me. I remember we had a Facebook page and I always wanted to do something for my birthday or just in general with people. No one was answering me, people were ignoring me and when I would go back to school the next day or after weekend, um, people like I heard them talk about me oh my god Sean like organized an event on Facebook ha 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 they were like laughing at me because I always wanted to do something because I really didn't like being alone but now like I, I don't care being alone is fine you're in your own thoughts you learn about yourself every second of the time you're alone and yeah, people were just making fun of me because I always wanted to do something. Someone made the invitations for my birthday celebration. They came because I wasn't the one starting the conversation. Now, I remember I talked to someone, uh, texted someone, and they were telling me, oh, what are you doing for your birthday? And I was like, oh, normally uh, I always try to do something and no one fucking shows up. And they felt bad and they were like, oh, let's organize something. And I was like, yeah, let's organize something. And they were like, do you want me to do the invitations or you? And I was like, do it. And uh, let's see if by you doing it, it will do a difference. Uh, the person did the invitations and I don't know why. They all said yes. They all said yes when it was another person beside me. And some people told me, Sean, why didn't you just do the invitations yourself? I would have said yes. Yeah, right. Like, the worst thing to see are my friends being together on road trips, camping, having fun without me, not inviting me, and then talking about it in front of me saying I should have come, it would have been better with me. 
but I know they're lying by saying what they said previously to me. So basically, uh, a lot of my friends from high school, they're hanging out all the time, uh, having parties, road trips, all of those good things, living your life. And they don't, like, everyone knows me by, oh my god, it's the guy that is pissed and not get invited. But they're like, oh my god, we should do more things and blah, blah, blah. They're telling me this when we see each other and they're doing stuff without me. I don't know if they're lying to my face or they really are forgetting about me. It's just annoying and like I've lived this for many years with people saying this to me and I I just don't buy that shit. What they meant to say we had fun without you and we wanted to say this because we don't like you, we don't want you, we hate you. That is that might be a little exaggerations but this is how I felt. Uh, I thought that I wasn't invited or hanging out with people because I thought they hated me. I thought people hated me and I was the annoying kid always next to them and that they had to go through what what they were doing with me and I just thought that people didn't like me because I was annoying. Some of the people that I'm talking about would probably say to me, we didn't think like that yeah it's i know you probably didn't think like that but this is how i felt this is how i feel so i thought they didn't like me and that was the reason why they didn't invite me to their events parties and whatsoever and yes i've been invited to parties but there were parties where they invited everyone from the program and their small parties no like, no calls, no texts whatsoever. Basically, I'm just saying that during my five years in high school, that the number of times that I got rejected, this is how I, fe I felt. And that is why I'm scared of being rejected or talking to people to organize stuff with them because I am now scared of getting rejected. The worst rejection is when I sent an invitation to someone I wanted to go eat and have a conversation, but it never happened and I got rejected. Probably the worst of them all. I already made a video about it. Uh, and uh, for my 19th birthday, I wanted to go eat somewhere with a friend. Just friends. Like, I was not in love with the person or whatsoever. I just wanted to hang out and go eat somewhere. And this was the last thing that made me go like, fuck that. I am no longer going to go through people. I will let people come to me. Send them basically a long text I wanted to tell them in person but they were talking with someone and they were leaving and I said like hey uh, you were leaving I was going to tell you, you face to face but uh, I want to go eat somewhere for my birthday on t this date whatsoever and it just was God the worst rejection of them all. I automatically saw the lies she told me in front of my eyes. So the person left me on red for a day and the next day told me, I work on that day. Why would someone wait 24 hours to tell me that they work on the day that I wanted to go eat with them? So that's when I was like, okay, she didn't want to, but she lied to me. So, yeah, <laughs> that was the worst rejection. Now you know why I stay inside, watch YouTube all the time. Those five years created this fear of mine and you didn't even realize.
So basically, I'm just saying like, people are always wondering why I'm always at home, why I'm always watching YouTube videos, but I always watch YouTube videos. I watch YouTube videos when my favorite creators upload a new one. I watch it like before I go to sleep. And I don't just do nothing, I do stuff like, now I have a job working on sets, I had school, and I was busy, and I'm still busy. But sometimes on my day off, instead of going out with people, I just stay home and watch YouTube videos. And I'm basically saying because of all of the rejections that I got in high school, uh, you didn't, it made me like this, and they didn't realize that what they did made me what I am today. I was the one approaching, I stopped what I was doing, and now no one's caring, I'm here with my pen writing. So basically, I'm just saying, I stopped going to people and telling them, hey, wanna hang out? Like, I stopped and I was like, I'm gonna let people come to me, text me, call me, and no one's texting me, no one's calling me, it's fucking sad, like it just showed that, it just showed me that wow, your friends don't care about you. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if when I put this video out, out of nowhere, they text me, they call me to know what's up. Like, I'm gonna be pissed no matter what. But the, but someone reached out to me recently to know how I was doing or what I was doing with my life. And it was one of the person that I didn't think ever would ask me that. That's insane. And basically, uh, the message on this is why I'm afraid of rejection, why I don't really ask people to do stuff anymore because of the amount of times that people did it to me and I don't want to relive this ever again. But I know I will relive this still in my life. I'm only 20 years old. It's gonna happen a lot more times in my life. And also I thought this person was bad in my life because oh my god he's the one doing it he's not inviting me but there were people with him they were not just one person they were a group together and when that person left the group they were still not inviting me not contacting me not calling or texting me so I thought that it was only about one person but it's not true it's about many people and uh, it's just I realized that while writing this and I was like oh my god like it's not just one person it's a lot of people and that's why I like this but yeah, that was the meaning of fear of rejection. Uh, I did another poem like a year ago called Is It Worth It? Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a meaning of the lyrics video of this poem. And some people have wrote in have contacted me in private to tell me, oh, it was so good do more and I will do more poems I'm not gonna force myself to do it I'm gonna let something get through me and make me go I need to write something down so thank you for watching this video make sure you like comment share this video you can subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on my social medias that will be in the description down below and you can turn on the bell for notifications when I post. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.